Chair. Today we're doing this sparkly purple look. I'm going to show you guys how to get um, a nice blend because I've actually used a little bit of something different. I've used a pink eyeshadow to blend this purple and then I've added some um, uh, shimmery shades over the top that have like light reflective properties in them so sometimes they look a little bit silver like in here and then on the lid they look very sparkly. So I'll show you guys how to do that and then the cheeks and the lips and just keep watching. I'm so excited for Christmas. Christmas, it's Christmas, it's Christmas, Christmas, Christmas. So I've already done this side and I've only just kind of started it, just wanted to get it started. And the first thing that we're going to do is to take a cream eyeshadow and this is called Plumpkin and it's a really cool kind of um, plummy purple shade. I'm going to use my fingertips and blend this over the lid because it is a creamy base. So I always like to work it first of all with my fingertips. And it's pretty much going all over the eye, except leave a little bit of a gap just in here, just so we can put a little bit of highlight in there. Take a flat brush and a purple eyeshadow. This is kind of in the same shade as what we already have on the lid. Press this, starting at the lash line. I'm working my way up. Just pressing it right over where we already have that creamy base. And then just pushing it right into the crease. Take a blending brush and just blend those edges out just to make sure they're not too harsh. Under the brows I'm going to take a soft pink. It's going to be used as our brow highlight. Now this is kind of more pink than it shows up on camera. Then we're going to take another pink shade. Now this is a more vibrant pink and you can also use the other pink shade that comes in this palette which is this one right here but it's a little bit light. So it's like a warm pink. I'm going to take this onto my fluffy brush and just work it on the outer part of the eye just on that outer kind of crease line where the purple meets the soft pink and this is just to help it blend only applied a very small amount of that just to give us something to blend with but it's not too harsh I'm also going to take this brow highlight and just push it on the inner portion of the eye this is just a base for our shimmer. I'm going to use this Luminous Air Shimmer and this has a beautiful tone to it. It kind of has um, a golden pink shimmer and then it has almost like a purple run through, running through it as well, like a purpley blue. I'm going to take a small kind of pencil brush, just dab it on the inner part of the eye and then just over the top and you can see how the different tones show up differently um, depending on the eyeshadow underneath it so on the very dark shade it just looks really purpley and then the inner part here it just looks kind of shimmery and silver which is just another way that you can use your glitter and I'm just blending it very gently over the lid I'm not bringing it up above um, the crease or anything like that it's just in here I'm going to go back in with that flat brush and that purple. It's just going to be worked underneath the eye. So just try looking up a little bit. I'm just getting underneath there. Just keep it right to the lashes. Take that pencil brush and just smudge that a little bit. Just blending it in with that silver sparkle. Then I'm going to take a black eyeshadow onto an angled brush. And I'm going to line my waterline with this black. It's kind of not going onto the waterline, it's more just by the lashes. You can also use um, a black eyeliner pencil as well. And now I'm going to take some eyelashes and these are Hot Candy um, 149, quite thin banded. So I'm going to try these out. I'm just going to coat the band in some Duo Adhesive. And you can just use the back of the tweezers to kind of push them down, making sure they're lying on the lash line rather than the actual lid. So that's the eyelashes applied. And I've just added a little coat of mascara just over the top just to blend it all up back in. On the rest of the face, this is what I used. I used that same shade that we used for um, blending. I actually used this um, on my cheeks as well. The only thing is because these are so highly pigmented, um, you do want to be careful that you really, really blend it, otherwise it's just going to look a little bit too fake. This doesn't have any shimmer in it at all, it's just a matte shade, which I always like to use matte shades into the crease line. 
On the lips I used Fragile Pink by NYC as my lip gloss, um, as my lipstick, and it's also in the same kind of shade as the ones that we used here, so it's just a nice um, peachy, pinky shade. And then I also used Touch of Pink by Sleek on my lips as my lip gloss. So I really hope you enjoyed this look, I'll talk to you guys soon, bye. Bye bye!